What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video by Trunk Fresh Green 34 and today we have another episode of Stop Car vs. Next Gen. We are taking a look at Team Retread. We got Hall Ingus vs. Eric Almrioli. Now I'm doing another like NASCAR based one so we don't have a Cars 3 Stop Car versus a Cars 3 Next Gen. Instead we have a Cars 1 Stop Car versus a next gen that wasn't in cars 3 but like kind of existed at the same time possibly <laughs> um so i did this with team htb a few months ago she kicks first rowdy reverend bush and yeah back at it with uh with retread i'm gonna continue to try and do these monthly um not sure if i'm gonna be able to stick to that every month but that is the goal because i eventually want to get through just about every single sponsor and um i'm kind of like I think the current plan for right now is to alternate between like a NASCAR one and like a Cars 3 one. So we did HTB from NASCAR, um, and then we did Blinker from Cars 3. Now we're doing Retread, um, which is a more NASCAR focused one. And then the next one again will be a more Cars 3 oriented one. And then, you know, et cetera, et cetera. We're gonna keep doing that for a little bit until I run out of NASCAR sponsors. Um, so yeah, with that out of the way, let's just jump right in. So, we've got um, Hall Ingas versus Eric, and just in case you are new to the series, when I compare these, I am strictly comparing them based on um, design. I know when I started the series, I wasn't doing that, I was trying to be objective, but I'm kind of just doing this based on opinion, which one I like more. And I'm not really going to be looking at, like, quality of the diecast, because we are comparing a China diecast to a Vietnam one. And the Vietnam one does have some questionable eyeshadow problems that I'll point out later. But we're not looking at that. We are strictly looking at design. So, Al Ingus, of course, is the Cars 1 Retread Racer, number 79. And he has this, like, very faint, almost like lavender color paint job with these white-looking rims. I don't think they're completely white, but they're, like, like a little bit of a hint of both white and lavender Kind of looks like gray, to be honest. I think it might just be gray rims, but like a lighter gray. <laughs> so very, very interesting. Um, it's not something that you see too often, if ever. Like, this is not... You definitely don't see this with, like, the Cars 3 racers. And the Cars 1 racers, the only other color that's, like, kind of close to it is Krusty Rotor, the final Tupe racer. He's got, like, a pink kind of color to him, but not quite the same shade as Hall, who's a lavender. So it's kind of a unique color scheme for a racer, which I, I do like. I do appreciate that. Now, Retread is for tire deodorant, roll-on tire deodorant, to be specific. And, of course, they actually have this, like, tread design in the logo, which, you know, I absolutely enjoy. I think I love when they do, like, little cute, um, like, incorporating the elements of what the sponsor is into the design like the tire treads like that i think that's really fun and the roll-on is actually i believe it's just a stick of deodorant and so that's pretty cool as well now he has this like wavy pattern kind of happening behind the logo as you can see it kind of like starts up down up and then continues down past the logo and then they're a bit of a darker lavender, more closer to purple, almost, um, compared to the rest of the car. And he also has some elements of red. So he's got this, like, red um, outline around his hood with some white as well. Kind of like a white shadow, almost, the way it's presented. So yeah, it comes from, like, the top of his eyes around and then stops on the side here. That looks a little weird. I don't really like how it just... Kind of continues on briefly on the side for that one little area. I think it should have just stopped right there. And then he has another design kind of like that. Where it starts on the fender around the wheel. Goes up and over. And kind of finishes right where the logo is. And then kind of continues down to the spoiler. I think that looks a lot better. Um, I don't know. I kind of do like how if you like look far enough you've got... The red, it almost looks like it's going all the way around, like an outer oval and then an inner oval here almost. Kind of a unique design choice there as well. Lots of uniqueness happening with Hall Ingus, which I can definitely appreciate. His number, um, I don't know, kind of a 
generic font. It doesn't look like anything too crazy, but it does, it is outlined in red, but on the inside, so the inner parts are outlined in red and the outer parts are outlined in black, which is pretty cool. Almost gives it like kind of like this glow effect, sort of, at least from how I'm looking at it. But yeah, he's got the zigzag pattern continuing all along the side here as well, in behind the number and contingency sponsors. So it almost looks like down and up arrows in a way. And then, yeah, it continues around on the back, and he just has this, like, random red, like, spot on his bumper that goes across, and then, like, a little white outline. That looks a bit strange. Oh, yeah, especially when you, like, flip it like this, and you can see the red doesn't even continue all the way to the bottom. Not super big into that. But, yeah, that is Hollingus, pretty much. Um, like I said, I, I think he's very, very unique. Um, there's a lot of elements here that you don't really see on a lot of the other racers, both in terms of color and, like, the way certain things are outlined. So, yeah, I can definitely appreciate and respect that with Hall. But the one I really want to talk about is Eric, because, <laughs> I don't know, I, I think you can probably guess who my favorite is, just by kind of how excited I'm getting. I love what they did with Eric Omrioling here. He's one of the few NASCAR sponsors who actually, like, looks drastically different from the Cars 1 counterpart, which is really, really exciting because, like I said, most of them didn't do that, and as a result, they don't look super great. Eric here, though, they kind of changed up his color scheme, and that's basically it, but in a weird way, I think that was enough to kind of set him apart. And what's super crazy, and I know this couldn't have been intentional, I feel like it wasn't, but they deliberately switched retread from lavender to blue. And in the Cars 1 video game, they use like a different set of racers. It's not the same racers that are in Cars 1, the movie. And the retread racer in that video game is blue. So like, it's a crazy coincidence um, to the point where I kind of do think it might have been intentional. Like they deliberately switched it to blue as maybe like a reference to the video game. I'm sure that's not what they were going for, but the fact that it worked out like that, just, I don't know, it's it's too perfect for me. I, I love it so much. Um, yeah, now, since he's an NASCAR release, he did come with this awesome little barrier that I'm just going to show off like that there. But there's nothing on there that we can't see on the actual car himself. I don't really like his expression, I'll, I'll, I will say that, um, but again, that's not really design related that's more of an issue with the die cast itself but yeah like i said everything that was lavender before they've switched to blue so we still have the red and white but now everything is either dark or light blue actually it's pretty much all dark blue so they kept the retread logo basically the same the only difference like they even kept like the tire tread but now there's no tire tread on the top it's just on the bottom and obviously they got rid of the um, tire deodorant um, little tag and the stick of deodorant little imagery. They got rid of that as well. He actually has, he maintains all of the stripes that I was talking about earlier, like the zigzag stripes. It's just, it's less of them. So now it only takes up like a small portion of the body. Kind of starts faintly at the bottom. And as we rise up the car, you see it more and more. Oh wait, they did keep the roll on sticker. Okay. So they just, they moved it away. It's not directly attached to the logo. Now it's kind of like a separate little sticker. Okay. So they didn't actually change up the branding a whole lot, if at all. They just got rid of the tire deodorant text and the extra tire tread on top of the retread logo. But yeah, as I was saying, you can see the, um, the pattern here continues just like, it's a bit of a weird choice, I think, to kind of have it only on that one little area of the hood, but... It kind of looks nice. I like how clean it looks. He's got a wet white and red stripe going right through the middle. It's now no longer kind of outlining the hood or side of the car. It's just going right down the middle. And I guess it still kind of does outline the side of the car just in a different way. Instead of going over the fender and over the wheels, it actually starts below right down where the wheel kind of ends and curves upward and goes all the way across the back. And his rims are outlined in red, which is very, very cool. 
And you can see the roll on there as well. And, oh wait, did they? Oh, I thought, the way the lighting was hitting it, I thought they had the little zigzag stripes on the bottom there, but they don't. They do, however, have it on the spoiler, kind of. And there's the roll on again. So there, now it's actually a part of the logo. But yeah, they, they simplified the design a lot. Well, I guess, I guess they didn't even really simplify it. They literally just took out like one kind of insignificant part of the logo and got rid of the tire deodorant phrase, which, you know, I feel like they didn't need it because, you know, you know, it's tire deodorant. Like in the Cars universe, you would see retread and know that, right? Obviously, we live in the real world. We don't know what retread is offhand, but I think in the Cars context of Cars, it makes sense to remove it. And yeah. I love the blue. I think the blue just works for me. I know there's a lot of blue racers in Cars 3, but I don't know. Something about this like dark blue with the white and the red, it's it's a really great design in my opinion. Oh, I didn't really talk about the number font, but it kind of looks like it's the same, just might be a little bit thinner, like slightly, slightly, slightly smaller. And the inner parts are no longer outlined in red. So, uh, I think it, I, I don't know, I don't think it necessarily looks better or worse than having it outlined in red, but just kind of a note. But yeah, I love Eric. It's an easy point for him. No contest. Sorry, Hall. You, you didn't really stand a chance, to be completely honest. I'm sure that's probably going to be a bit of a controversial take, though, because I feel like more people, when it comes to, like, the NASCAR releases, I think more people gravitate towards the originals because people say they didn't modernize the sponsors enough which is true i do agree with that but i don't know i just really do like how eric turned out um i think he's a lot better than like gogo logano or william byrev in my opinion but i'm very curious to hear what you think who do you think wins this matchup is it hall or is it eric you already know my pick but i really want to hear yours so that's going to wrap it up for this episode thank you all so much for watching and i'm going to be back very soon with another episode. I'm not entirely sure what sponsor just yet. I think I have a few ideas in mind, but if there's a particular sponsor you want to see soon, let me know in the comments, and I will probably move that one up to the top of my list, because I need ideas. I'm kind of just picking the first ones that I think of, but I, I really want to get, you know, some feedback, some ideas. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.